Hello and welcome to the FinGen Show. Thank you so much for joining and thanks for all of our sponsors, of course. International Strategic Management, Connecting Dots, and every else, everyone else who's supporting us. Thank you. In today's discussions, one of the things that I've been hearing a lot about is the whole digitalization of your business. And while you could think about this in so many ways, what I've learned throughout the years is many businesses in today's environment are just missing some of the basic, what I'm going to call digital present online. And these things, I'm going to categorize them in a couple of things. The first one is missing the email or what I'm going to call a professional email setting. The second is missing a web page or, you know, a website present. And the third is missing some social media present. If you want to add a fourth one for the conversations is I'm going to call it follow-ups and I'm going to call it content creations or content touching base with your customers or, you know, potential customers. And the, way, the reason I'm mentioning this because sometimes we make digitalization in your business sound so complex. And it can be, by the way, if you are thinking of converting all of your documentations, all your processes, all your workbook online. Sure, there could be a big process, but it does not have to be that complex. You could create what I'm gonna call a smaller task list with having the long-term strategy or long list of things that needs to be done for later, but you could start tackling things based on the priorities that make sense for your business. In many cases, sometimes having just an email is much more important or more relevant to what you're needing to do. A professional email, meaning your name at your company website.com, something like that, can add a ton of value as well as legitimacy, unfortunately, for your business. In the past, having an office, a physical office, would have meant that you're legit. In today's environment, having a mailing address with your business makes you a little bit more legit. Now, of course, relationships overcome all of these things. It's just, it would help you when you have these things set up. So the first thing you wanna do is think about how can you set up your email system? And it does not have to be complex. Most of the time you can get it from Microsoft, from Google, from GoDaddy, from Square, from many places for as little as probably $100 a year or less, meaning almost you know, $5 a month, $10 a month, and now you have an email address at your domain name, .com or .whatever. And you could have actually multiple email addresses in that one domain that's going to one email address. As an example, info at my ISM Inc or jobs at my ISM Inc actually still comes to my email ferris.lme at my ISM Inc. I have subfolders when they come that just goes directly to them. And then whenever I have time, I could go and check, or if we have a job that's happening, then we can go and check those resumes. Or if someone's looking at the info, I'm always looking to see if I have anyone submitted any information looking for ISM. One inbox that capture all of these. You could also have it catch all, basically meaning if they write anything at your domain, it will come to that email. And you could add second email for your administrative staff, whether it's program managers or retail staff or whatever, and each one of them could have their own email if you choose to for an additional hundred more dollars for the year. Excuse me, I mentioned this because it's just so little money, but such a big impact on your, on your present online. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll talk about more about the three other items that we brought up to your attention today with digitalizing your business. Welcome back. So one of the other things I mentioned is having a website. Most of the times, entrepreneurs seem to want to make it so complex. You want to put everything out there. And with time, you can. But initially, all you may need is just a one pager. What is it that you do? Who's your ideal customer? How people can engage you? 
and how can they stay in touch with you? And then with, with time, you could add layers of the different services, the different products, and all the different testimonials that you may get from your customers and all the other things that you wanna have. So think about that because many times you don't really need to have a big complex present. And in some cases, you could actually just re-guide or redirect, it's called redirecting, your domain name that you buy to your Facebook page so people could like it and you know or engage you there if that's what you choose to. I believe for $100 or $500, you could easily get a web page from someone that could create it for you. Obviously, we offer a digitalizing your business campaign through international strategic management and through the different partners that we have there. But you could also just do it yourself or you could hire someone to just create you one pager. The third thing I mentioned is having some social presence and you need to decide which presence makes sense for you based on your audiences that you have. TikTok, Snapchat, you know, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and of course there are many others out there. What would make best sense for you? And how often should you be engaged in that community? What you don't wanna do is just put a shingle out there and but not use it. If you do to choose to pick one of them, think about the strategy that you want to go after, meaning should you post once a day, once a week, once a month? There's really no right or wrong. The key is to be consistent as much as you can, or if you could come up with a strategy up front, it could help you be more powerful with your presence on the social media. And the last thing I mentioned is staying in touch with your clients by creating content. This could be through either a newsletter or creating online courses or any other way that could potentially engage your customers or potential customers in a way that could be more meaningful to them. Sometimes a newsletter, sometimes you know, uh, an online courses or online community that you create or a Facebook fan page or a Facebook you know, group or a LinkedIn group. I'm gonna leave that up to you, but you might wanna think about it. These are the things that you could do right now to digitalize your business in the very small steps, but big impact and a very low cost. Probably all what we talked about, less than $1,000 for the year, you could be set up. And probably on a maintenance wise, probably less than $500 a year, you could probably keep it going. So $50 a month, or maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. I encourage you to rethink about your digital presence, especially in today's environment. I encourage you to rethink about how you do the work that you're doing and how you could publicize it, utilizing some of these digital medias. Of course, we could talk about all the different automations that you could do from the Power of 77 Marketing or any of the other resources or programs that we have. But I think initially just getting your business, you know, I'm gonna call it set up as a digitalized business or online present would be a very powerful step for you to take. I wanna say thank you for joining us today. And again, looking forward to having a more conversation with each one of you. In a, ca in a recap, having a digital for your, digitalizing your business in today's environment, I talked about four things. One is getting your professional email address. Second is getting you to have a web page or one pager at least a way for them to contact with you, a little bit of information about you, and you could always add to it later. And the third one is making sure that you have some kind of social media present, you decide which one. And then the last thing is creating or having to make sure that you have some kind of content that could stay with your customers or potential customers for them to stay in touch with you. Thanks again for joining. Till next show, have a good day.